An update. We've learned the name of the victim in yesterday's fatal tow road crash. The news is coming as a shock to students and staff at IUSB. The victim was beloved art teacher, 66 year old Dora Nutella. Yeah, she's led the school's sculpture program mm -hmm. since 2004. 16 News Now reporter Jack Springgate joins us live in the newsroom to tell us more about the legacy she leaves behind. Jack? Well, Lauren Terry, there's the physical mark she's left on campuses, both in South Bend and down in Bloomington, and also the emotional and professional impact she's left with students and also the staff members that I spoke with today. Now, this is one of her most recognizable pieces, and it's on IUSB's campus, simply called Gaia, which debuted back in 2000 in Chicago. The sculpture is a reflection of the current state of our planet, personified by the Greek Earth Mother Goddess. Another work that will live on at IUSB is Euterpe's Gift which debuted in 2017, paying homage to the university's reputation for figurative art. Shocked was just one of the words her colleagues used after learning she was the victim in yesterday's fatal crash. Her work was so meaningful um, and expressive to so many people. Her use of, of the human form in a very um, loving and uh, embracing way of humanity, of, of all of her work. Her transparency, her candor, her... Um, Again, that zest for life and that tenacity to fight and, and hold on and um, throughout that process was really inspirational to a lot of people. Martinez is referencing the pancreatic cancer battle Nutella was facing at the time of her death. Her art isn't just living on in South Bend. Stay tuned at 6 to see how her legacy lives on at IU Bloomington and in the hearts of those who knew her. Lauren, Terry. All right, Jack Springgate live in the newsroom tonight. Jack, thank you. Happening.